In daylight, it looks like an ordinary barren moon, but at night, something spooky happens. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy and to another episode of Worth a Visit. About a month ago, I got contacted by a group of commanders who have set out on an expedition called the Dead Ends Circumnavigation Expedition. As the name suggests, these guys are going to circumnavigate the whole galaxy, meaning they're going to fly around the edge of the galaxy, which is a very, very long trip. If you've ever taken the trip to Secretaries A and back, um, this trip is just over three times uh, as long. Um, that would actually be pi times as long, to be exact. Um, so that's a very long trip, and they're planning to spend 10 months to a year doing this, which is a very long time, a very big dedication to to go out into uh, to depth of space for so long. But anyway, they contacted me because they found a rather interesting moon that they wanted me to have a look at, that they thought would make a good um, location for a worth a visit video, and obviously they were right. Um, because you see, this moon in daylight looks like, well, ordinary moon, it's brown-ish, and it's very barren, not a lot is going on. But every 60 hours, the moon moves into the shadow of the planet, so the moon eclipses. Or the planet eclipses the sun, uh, seen from the moon. And when that happens, the whole planet is covered in a thick, thick fog. It's, I mean, it, you can't see a thing when you're on the surface, and it happens quite quickly. It happened over 15 to 20 minutes, um, which was an amazing transformation to be there and to see this happening, um, because um, Feeble Rocksack allowed me to join his ship um, in Multicrew to, uh, to use one of his fighters to get out and get some recordings, which is what you're seeing here. So a huge thanks to him for letting me join his, uh, his ship for, to, be, to be, allow me to do this. And a huge good luck for me to, uh, to the whole expedition. I hope you're still going strong. Um, but anyway, the system is uh, 20,000 light years from, uh, from the bubble, which is why I wanted to join Multicrew. Um, I'm going to put both system name and also the planets in the, um, in the video description, so you can go and, and watch that if you want. And um, so what I've done is I've made a, um, I made a montage of some of the video footage I have of, uh, of the planet which I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, but first, again, huge thank you to, uh, to everybody on the, in the expedition for allowing me to come out and to join you. Um, if you like this kind of video, maybe able to give it a like and get subscribed to the channel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the montage now. And um, there's going to be a quick, um, quick time lapse, which is actually not done by me, but by the, uh, by the expedition. So all credit to them and link for that in the description. So yeah, until next time. I'll see you guys in space.